Hey folks, my name is Rob. I'm a senior engineer here at Hasura. We think that building federated APIs should be a quick and easy process. In fact, we think you can do it in under a minute, and that's exactly what we're going to do in this quick start. You can see right now that I have the quick start on the left-hand side and then my terminal on the right-hand side, so I'll go ahead and begin by creating a new project directory and then scaffolding out all the project structure that I'll need. From there, I'm going to go ahead and add a data connector, and I'm going to accept Postgres as the default one, along with a few default values that go along with this, including our sample database. At this point, though, you could use any data source you wanted to along with your own connection string. From there, I'm going to introspect my data source. This will tell Hasura all about the tables and relationships that exist. And then I'll use that introspected information to create all the metadata I need to create my API. So we'll see all the tables added is what we term models and then relationships as well. And then I'll create a local build. And at this point, I actually have an API completely ready to go. So I'll go ahead and start it all up. And then I'll open my console so I can explore things. And you can see we have our graphical explorer here. I can go ahead and hit run and I'll get all the information returned from my query. One of my favorite things that we have is a visual explorer. So you can see a visual representation of your data. Now this is a very simple example where we only have one what we term subgraph with one data source connected. But you can imagine this being a much more complex application that has various teams connecting data all across disparate sources into a single API. And if I wanna onboard new team members or even new teams to create federated access with governance and control, it's as simple as adding collaborators via the console once I've deployed this to Hasura Cloud or my own infrastructure. If you're curious about trying this out yourself and wanna connect your own data source, go ahead and run through the quick start and drop in your connection string.